Welcome to episode 5 of Nothing to a Dragon Lore with Profitable Trade-Ups. We had an insane run-up in the last episode and we ended off with a balance of $430.50. And we're gonna get started on this kilowatt trade-up using 10 minimal wear kilowatt restricteds with an average float of below 0.1, which will give us a 33% chance to hit the M4 Black Lotus, profiting us $19. You break even on the Zeus Olympus and you lose about $8 on the USB Jawbreaker. Let's kick this episode off with nine of these trade-ups. That obviously means we are going to get nine M4 Black Lotuses. All right, give me a Black Lotus. Yes, let's go. First try, first Black Lotus. Now we only need eight more. Let's see if we can get it. Black Lotus. Oh, come on, bro. A third jawbreaker in a row? Man, that is, that's crazy. And we're gonna get more. I already know it, but we're also gonna get more M4s. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Last trade up. Please, 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 please. Give me the Black Lotus. Oh, bro. Another USP. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so unlucky. Are you looking for cheap, low float skins for trade ups? Check out today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. It's the most convenient trading bot site where you don't have to overpay for low floats. I found this 0 0.08 Opelite build and this 0 0.09 M4 Tooth Fairy, and the tradable M4 was delivered to my inventory instantly. If you apply code TechSavvy, you get a 5% deposit bonus, and you also get a $5 trading bonus when you start trading. Don't worry if you don't have any skins, just head over to Freebies and you'll find three giveaways, all the way up to a Gut Knife Gamma. Doppler. So use my link in the description to start finding deals on low float skins today. Well, yeah, we got really unlucky with five USPs, but we still made profit. We're now sitting at a balance of $448.02. And conveniently, the five USPs that we were unfortunate enough to get come in just the right floats to throw them into this trade up. Where, of course, we're going to need the five minimal wear kilowatt classifieds with floats below 0.1. And you're also going to need five factory new fillers from pretty much any collection. The gamma cases are pretty decent, but you could also use something like the Dreams and Nightmares, for example, or the Danger Zone case you really need to make sure to keep the average float below 0 0.07 and this will give you the factory new ak inheritance and the factory new op chrome cannon 50 percent chance to hit either over a hundred dollars of profit on either one of them the other side of the coin flip however is terrible this trade-up is not as profitable as the trade-ups that i usually feature in this video but i already got the five usps so might as well do it so essentially we're taking the five usps that we just hit and we're smacking them all all in one trade up as you already know going for the factory new ak-47 inheritance or the factory new op chrome cannon come on man last episode this trade up went crazy show me the right side of the coin again in five four three two one please yes let's go we got a chrome cannon last time we got the ak and now we finally get the chrome cannon Let's go, that's another amazing profit. That's 0 0.069, pretty cool, pretty cool. Wow, just wow, all I can say is wow, our luck on these 50-50s has been insane. We did two and we hit both in the last two episodes and this pushed our balance up to $585.47. Guys, we're closer to one grand than to zero. And actually, I've never had a chrome cannon before, but now I have one. And look at how cool it is, all those colors and the chrome effect it's crazy honestly if i use this during a match i would probably get distracted and just look at the skin <laughs> instead of playing the game but unfortunately as with all skins in this series we're gonna be selling it and we're gonna be using the balance to do more trade-ups boys hear me out we're going for the dragon lore right the dragon lore is from the cobblestone collection so how would we do that without doing trade-ups from the cobblestone collection yes that's right we're gonna be doing a cobblestone collection trade-up and we're gonna be doing an expensive one we're gonna be going for the CZ Chalice or the Desert Eagle Hand Cannon. So this trade up uses one Dark Age, nine fillers. It is not profitable. Do not do this trade up. I should not be doing this trade up. I'm going to lose money on this trade up, but we're doing it. 18% chance for crazy profit. But please don't do this, man. Please. Let's do this thing, man. 18% for over $370 of profit into 82% for minus $130. Here we go, Gaben. We're going for the Dragon Lore, so we're doing cobblestone trade-ups. Give me the CZ Chalice. Give me the hand cannon. In five, four, 
three, two, one. Cobblestone collection. Oh no! Oh boy, that's so bad. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, the balance is decimated. It is safe to say that I will not be attempting that trade up again anytime soon. But let's move on to the next trade up, and this is gonna be absolutely crazy. We are doing the biggest trade up in this series so far, with the potential to get a skin that's worth a thousand dollars. So we're pretty much throwing everything in. We're using four hundred nine dollars out of our four hundred fifty-seven dollar balance and we're putting it all in a 60% with this stat track factory new AK inheritance trade up for this one you're gonna need six stat track minimal wear classifieds from the kilowatt case and four stat track factory new classifieds from the fracture case you need to be very careful to keep the average float below 0.07 and this will give you a trade up that's 118% profitable and you have a 30% chance to hit the $1,000 AK inheritance with a profit of $460 and a 30% chance at at the op chrome cannon with a profit of $182. We also have a 40% chance to hit the fracture skins. This would set us back very, very far, and let's just not even talk about it. Well, you know what they say, go big or go home, and that is exactly what we are doing. We're pretty much throwing everything in that we have worked for so far in four and a half episodes of this series, and we're doing it, but we have a chance. We have a 30% chance to get an item that's worth $1,000, so Gaben please please show me the correct 60% kilowatt skin I need a kilowatt skin come on here we go biggest trade up of the series pretty much all of our balance going into this one in five four three two one kilowatt please we got the best outcome oh my gosh the AK inheritance that's the $1,000 skin I thought we were gonna get the Legion of Anubis but no we get the inheritance boys our balance is looking amazing well it sure seems like this kilowatt trade-up is in our favor today we hit another AK inheritance just as in the last episode but of course this time it is stat track and this puts us at a balance of $917.73 we're super close to the $1,000 mark we're not quite there but this AK is looking crazy good and because we got so lucky I'm gonna do a giveaway and we're gonna be giving away this Desert Eagle code red and well worn with four Astralis stickers it's looking pretty good it's worth over $20 on the Steam market and all that you need to win it is to subscribe to the channel join my discord server linked below and react to the giveaway bots message in the giveaways channel but let's try to crack that $1,000 mark today so let's move on to some more trade up and the trade up that we're gonna be doing to get there is gonna be a stat track factory new m4 black lotus trade up for this is pretty simple you're just gonna need 10 minimal air stat track restricteds from the kilowatt case with an average float of below 0.1 this is not that hard to get and it's gonna cost you 69 dollars nice and you have a 33 percent chance to hit the m4 black lotus profiting 35 dollars if you hit the zeus olympus you make just under 14 and if you hit the usp you lose just under 21 so with a little bit of luck these four trade ups should put us just past 1000 dollars as long as we don't hit a usp so please Please, let's not start off with the USP. <laughs> let's go. Black Lotus, that is what I like to see. Stat track factory new. We are inching closer and closer to the $1,000 mark. Come on, man. Show me a Zeus or another M4. Oh, that's the USP. Oh well, oh well, whatever man, whatever. We just keep pushing forward. If we hit two more M4s, I'll take it. No, that's not bad. Ya, yeah, yeet. Yes, there we go. All right, two M4s out of three trade-ups. That is awesome. Gotta double check that it's factory new, and it indeed is. Come on, man. Please, no USP. Show me another M4, but I'll take a Zeus. Ya yeah, yeet. Oh my gosh, let's go. Three M4s out of four trade-ups. That is ridiculously good, but we did hit the USP, so I don't think we're at $1,000 yet, but let me double check real quick. Seems like this is our lucky day because our balance is sitting at $1,003.30. We are over 20% of the way there. Dragon Lore, I am coming for you.